What's up guys? It's Batty Jade and we're doing another crafting video. But um I need a little bit of a break since the last one. Um it drained me a little bit. It was a little too intensive and took a little too much time, so I need a lighter one. <laughs> Which is why we're doing something uh, not quite so complicated today. Which is, uh, we're just making some fake plants. And, uh, I'm not doing all the work. Cause, uh, I got these fake succulents on sale from Winco. So, uh, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna experiment a little bit and have some fun and not take so much dang time and effort. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, I got some stuff from Winco when they had all their summer stuff on sale. Almost a year ago now. And uh, they had these really cool bowls I wanted like the whole time, but they were 10 bucks. And I was like, I'm not going to pay $10 for a bowl. But uh, I waited. I persevered. And uh, my patience paid off because... Now I got the cool bowls I wanted for only like two bucks. So I got these really cool little like waffle cone bowls. They got the little chocolate drippies on the side with the sprinkles. Uh, I got two with pink inside like this and I got two with white inside. So I'm going to be making these some succulent pots. Um, fake succulents. Because they're a little bit too shallow, I think, for some real succulents. But uh, that's why I also bought a bunch of their fake succulents they also had on sale. For about a dollar and some change. So I bought a bunch of these as well. And we're going to do one with just putting in their normal fake succulents. And we'll do one realistic bowl. And then... We're gonna do a fancy bowl that's colored, you know, with some pastel colors. Maybe some pinks, some pale whites, maybe some blues. I don't know, maybe we'll try to make it look like some ice cream. We're gonna see what happens. And, um, so I've got the succulents, I got the bowls. Uh, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so here are my fake plants, and basically they're just on styrofoam with kind of this fake stone on top, even though it feels like hard stone. Basically, you just have to um, work them out the same way you would a real plant. It's a little tougher because they're kind of glued inside, but basically wiggle the pot until they come undone. And they have this stone part also glued on the bottom. So I just also took that off and threw it away. And then basically what I thought I could do was cut them down so they fit inside the bowl. And then I thought I could fill in the rest. Um, turns out uh, that didn't work. Because once I whittled down the styrofoam, which as you can see is uh, very messy. Um, the stone tops didn't fit together inside. Uh, they were all too big. And you also see me trying to <laughs> uh, make the stone smaller. I tried to chisel it off with a hammer. I even tried to cut it. Um, it didn't work. So here, what I eventually found I could do is I could just pull the plants directly out. They were on a wire. So when I found the wire, basically um, I cut all the styrofoam off of the hard top because I, I just couldn't do anything with that hard top. So I separated it by cutting it. Um, there was a wire that went down through the middle. Once I separated it, um, I could then pull that wire out. So I could reattach the wire to the plant and I could put the plant back on the styrofoam uh, if I wanted to. 
and once I did that, um, I thought maybe I could still use a styrofoam. I was still playing with the idea that I could make the plants fit in the styrofoam. That maybe I could whittle them down into the smaller pieces. Uh, but then I was like, how am I going to fill in those big gaps? And um, I was getting frustrated and I was almost like giving up the project because I was like, I don't see how this is going to work. And then I saw a big piece of styrofoam in my closet. <laughs> so I just cut out a circle the size of the bowl and then whittled it down uh, so it would fit down inside and be the correct size. And boy was that messy. Um, the styrofoam was even messier than cutting the smaller pieces. It got everywhere and I was taking the hose vacuum and vacuuming up while I was even doing it and it still got everywhere. It's still everywhere even as I'm editing this video right now. It is everywhere. But it worked much better. So now that the foam's cut to size and fits well in the bowl, I'm just gonna secure it with some hot glue. I'm gonna put some in the bottom. I'm gonna put some on the sides so it's nice and secure in there. And it shouldn't take too long to dry, but I'm just gonna press it in there really firmly. And the styrofoam just fills up the bowl and gives the succulents something to sink into. All right, so this is Creatology air dry clay, and this is what we're gonna use for our top soil. And I had this left over for my last craft project, so it was really handy to have. I just happened to have it and it worked perfectly. So if you want to do something like this, I'd really uh, recommend it. Basically, all I did was um, pretty thinly spread it out um, over the top. You really don't need to make it thick at all. Uh, it really just needs to cover the styrofoam and it really just stuck to everything pretty well. Um, it never peeled back or anything. Um, once it dried, it stuck to the foam and it stuck to the bowl. So I really had no problem with it. All I did was just uh, smooth it out over everything. And I did have to work a little fast because this foam does have that weird problem where it doesn't really want to blend into itself. I had that trouble with it making the lips on my last plant project as well. The carnivorous plant. So, but lumpy and bumpy is fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's earth, so it, it's not a problem. So I also have these aquarium rocks that I got from Walmart and I had these left over as well. And so I just figured that I would press these in to the clay while it was still wet and it would just make it look a little bit more realistic. And um, it turned out really well. Um, it was a little difficult to get a lot of the aquarium rocks in. Um, they didn't want to stick real well. You had to push them pretty hard and they were pretty messy. Um, you just had to keep at it from every angle and sometimes get the little bits into what you could. Also, turn it over and dislodge any loose gravel. <laughs> okay, so the last part of uh, the basic assembly is just arranging your succulents in the pot. And uh, I did this while my clay was still wet. Uh, I figured it would just be easier, especially if I mess something up, then uh, it would be easier to fix the wet clay. So I just took my succulents and arranged them how I wanted to and just stuck them down through the clay and the styrofoam. And I mean, this was super easy. It was just 
sticking a little wire down through some very soft stuff. And then my cactus uh, did come with these little baby cacti with it and uh, they were stuck on the little hard top. So I just ripped them off uh, the little hard top that I couldn't use and I uh, took some hot glue very carefully not to burn my fingies and um, just placed them around in my bowl and uh, glued them very carefully uh, on top onto my clay and uh, my gravel and uh, yeah now he's uh, He's done, he's ready to dry and uh, get painted. So here's my succulent. I mean, <laughs> here's my second succulent. And uh, I decided to do this one a little bit differently. Um, I decided to leave uh, the hard uh, pre-made top on one of uh, my fake plants for this pot. Um, just because this one in particular had uh, two fake plants, a uh, kind of a parent plant and a smaller baby plant um, in it. And one, I didn't really want to take them apart. And two, even looking at taking it apart and kind of pulling at it a little bit, it was for some reason much harder to take out than the other ones. So I just decided uh, to leave it and to not bother with it. Um, so you can see me, um, trying to dumbly put it in the center first. And, uh, <laughs> and then I go to put the second one in and I'm like, oh no, there's no room. <laughs> uh, stupid. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, then I have to yank it out and uh, you see how goopy the clay is, but lucky for me, I did it while the clay was wet. So I put the succulent where it should have been and then just quickly uh, fixed the clay around it. Um, it wasn't difficult. It was, it was just uh, s stupid for me. Uh, just not thinking, I was just like, I'll put it directly in the center. And, uh, but yeah. And then after I put it on there, uh, then I just put uh, the gravel around it like I did uh, the first one. And I just used a different gravel too. I had leftover black gravel. So I just thought, um, black could maybe peek through some of my paint because it was more natural and this was going to be my natural one so I thought it'll work great and uh, it didn't really peek through the paint but um you know what it was fine and here are my other two that I chose for the natural one and I'm just placing them in and again Blowing away more styrofoam bits. And now the second one's all done. All right, so now it's time to paint and I'm going to start with our natural bowl and I'm going to take this melted chocolate brown color and I'm just going to be painting the clay and I don't have to color the rocks but I'll color the rocks because they're in the way of trying to get to the clay and I'm also just going to be painting um, any white spots uh, that the inside of the glaze of the bowl was. Uh, just so it all kind of blends in together. It'll look better that way. So that's what I'm gonna do The only part that I'm going to leave is that uh, One succulent that I put in there Where I left the top that it had where it already had the the simulated gravel part I'm just gonna leave that Our 
first bowl uh, is all done and it looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're onto the ice cream succulent and I'm choosing three flavors and my first one is bubblegum. So I thought bubblegum would look pretty cool because first of all, um, I'm choosing a blue bubblegum. And I thought uh, the cactus would look good in shades of blue and also look cute with some little uh, mini gumballs on it. And so I'm just painting this, uh, first of all, with a very pale pastel blue color. And um, after I paint it with the pastel blue color, I'm just doing a little bit of ombre just to make it a little bit cuter. And I'm doing just a little bit of a darker, kind of more turquoise blue uh, at the top. And I decided to do the gravel um, in thirds. So to make it kind of look like three scoops of ice cream were melting together in a bowl. So um, each succulent is kind of kind of get its third of the bowl painted its own color. So the bubblegum uh, cactus is going to get its gravel colored. Um, it's light blue with a couple little ribbons of their turquoise in it. And for my second flavor, I decided on strawberry because I thought it would be a really nice, cute, light pink. And for this one, you're not going to see too much yet because um, for the plastic, it's going to need a couple of coats of paint uh, before it completely covers it. Um, you're probably going to be able to see a lot of the green showing through because it's such a pale pink. Um, I really used a lot of white and just mixed in a tiny bit of pale pink into it. Uh, to make an even paler pink because I really wanted it to have a lot of different shades of pink in it and uh, have it just look like really creamy melted strawberry ice cream and so it took a few coats so the last flavor is vanilla with rainbow sprinkles and this is a really light color as well, so it's going to take a couple of coats of paint, just like the strawberry, to fully coat it so you can't see the green underneath and for it to look pretty good. And it's also going to have a clay element that I'm going to have to sculpt for it, just like the uh, gumball flavor. So these are the details for the strawberry succulent after it's had a couple of more coats of its pale pink paint. Um, I'm just going around the edges of its leaves and I'm giving it uh, some darker pink paint. Uh, that's just some more realistic succulent definition, like some details it had on there in green. I'm just doing it in pink. Um, just giving it some cute pink details and uh, then after I finish doing all of that then I'm just going in with some even darker pink paint that I mixed some red into to make kind of a strawberry bits color and I'm just giving it some kind of strawberry splotches and I'm just doing that to resemble the strawberry bits that you would find in strawberry ice cream and I'm not making them real detailed. I'm not going to draw real strawberries onto the plant. Um, I'm not putting in that work and I don't think it would look really that much better. So, and I'm just doing some of the strawberry bit details down onto the soil. Okay, so now I'm going to be making uh, my little sprinkles and gumball details for my plant 
and I'm going to be making those out of polymer clay. Um, I've only got three colors because I don't really have very much, but I do have this blue and I've got a green and I've got a white, which I can then paint when I'm done. So basically for the sprinkles, which is what I'm doing first, all you do is you roll out a snake and you roll it out, um, well, as thick as you want your sprinkles to be. So I rolled it out uh, pretty thin, but not super thin because I wanted my sprinkles to be just a little bit bigger than normal in real life. I wanted them to be a little bit more visible on the plant. So I made them a little bit bigger. Basically, you just roll out the snake um, and then cut them into sprinkle sizes. Little cylinders, really. And so I just, I cut up way too many. <sighs> I really only needed a couple of like each color, no more than three. Um, so I cut way too many, <laughs> but I wasn't thinking very, very clearly. Um, so I just needed to cut up a couple of each color uh, for the sprinkles and then the gumballs. All I did was roll little balls in the size that I wanted of each color that I wanted. And that really was it. It was pretty simple. And then I just baked it in the oven for the correct time and size that's on the package. Okay, so now the gumballs and the sprinkles are done baking and cooling and we're just gonna super glue them on to the plants. And I start off barehanded, but I quickly put on gloves because um, super glue gets everywhere and I hate getting it on my hands. Somehow I still managed to get it on my hands after I took the gloves off. I don't know how I did it, but I did, so that was really fun. But, uh, anyway, um, sticking the, the sprinkles on was difficult sometimes. You could kind of balance them on the very edge of the leaves, but trying to get them on the middle, you really couldn't. They either wanted to stick on the very end or slide all the way down and the glue for some reason didn't want to dry very fast so it was a little bit of a pain but um the gumballs were really easy they fit like right in between the, the little cacti splinters so i made them just the right size so that wasn't very frustrating which was nice and uh the glue didn't dry super fast, but it dried fast enough where I could start painting pretty quickly. I didn't have to wait around. So I painted the sprinkles all rainbow colored. Um, I had the blue and the green, and then I painted them orange and yellow and pink. Uh, pink instead of red, because I wanted to stick with the pastel rainbow sprinkles. And I originally was gonna go with rainbow colors for the gumballs as well, but then very quickly decided um, I didn't like it. Uh, I also painted purple sprinkles, but I painted one purple gumball and I decided I didn't like that color scheme. And so I kept blue gumballs and put on some white gumballs and then painted some pink gumballs and decided that uh, I liked that. It kind of kept with the pastels and still looked like some gumballs and uh, kept with the theme. So I decided that uh, that was good enough for me and that I was just gonna keep it at that.
Okay, so we're here, and the project is finished. It actually didn't take too much time. Um, it wasn't that complicated. Of course, there was there was a couple of complications that I didn't foresee, but I managed to get over them fairly quickly. Um, the biggest one was just... You know, I thought <laughs> that the succulents were just gonna fit. Um, I thought they were gonna fit in the containers and that I wasn't really gonna have to do too much to have to fit them in there and I kinda did. Um, I thought I was just gonna have to cut down the pots uh, or just kinda cut them down and I could just stick them and squish them in there and then it was just gonna somehow work and um you know that 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 didn't really happen that didn't really happen because uh you know i didn't anticipate the hard stony tops that the particular ones i got had and um those just weren't ever gonna cut or chip off so those had to just kind of be decimated and I was lucky I still had styrofoam to work with so I could use that to really fill the pots instead it was much simpler I think than uh, even trying to squish in styrofoam squares were and I was lucky I still had leftover materials for my last project that I had to use which was that dry uh that air dry foam clay that I could just then put over the top, which made it really simple. Um, so I did have to really do the project completely differently than I originally thought I'd have to do when I saw the materials for it. But it was fine. It turned out better. And it wasn't that much more of a hassle once I wrapped my head around it and I figured it out. Um, I panicked a little bit when it first was happening because I was like, uh, how am I going to get these in here? <laughs> and at first I was like, am I even going to be able to make this a project? But, um, you know, once you get them in there, I mean, what you can do with it is pretty much whatever you want to, um... You can just, I mean, leave the succulents as they are and just color the gravel whatever color you want to with paint. And I mean, it looks, it looks pretty fine. I mean, I can't really choose which of mine I like better. I mean, I like just my, my plain gravel one. It matches the chocolate. Which I really like. So I actually really like even just the plain one. Which I did basically nothing to. Except put it in. Just glued it in. Put the gravel in. Colored the gravel with my chocolate colored paint. And it looks really good. It looks really nice. Like I really appreciate it. I appreciate that the plants still look very plant-like. While the bowl still looks very dessert-like, I like that a lot. I actually might like that one better. Which, I mean, I still do like my dessert one. It's very fantastical and everything. It did take a lot, a lot more effort, though. And, uh, well, I mean, I do, I do like it. It's just, I had it, like, much bigger in my head. It just didn't quite meet my expectations as much. As much. It doesn't quite look as desserty as I imagined it to, but I mean, it still has to look like a succulent. Because, I mean, it's still a succulent. But, I mean... Their dessert seems succulents in a dessert bowl, and they do kind of look like melty ice creams at the same time. I mean, I get that this is strawberry. I get that this is vanilla with sprinkles. 
I kind of get that this is bubblegum with bubblegum pieces. And they're still succulents. But I'm like, maybe it's because they're matte. Maybe if I put some glaze on them, they'll look a little bit better. Maybe a little bit shinier. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's a different step I could do. But at this point, I'm just kind of done. I just I just wanted an easy project that I didn't have to put a lot of work into. And still, I, I put a little too much into this. I got sick while I was painting this, so... I got done with that one really fast because my body, my body just decided I, I don't want to, I don't want to work on this. So I'm going to get sick. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to put that much work into this. So <laughs> for the little work that I put into it, uh, you know, it, it looks pretty good. It's interesting. Um, it's unique, you know, it's unique. It's a thing. So. I'm not mad at it for uh, finding some marked down bowls and succulents for summertime, you know. I'm not mad at my uh, cute little fake plants, so I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it a win because uh, it didn't take much time and it wasn't that hard. So now I just gotta find uh, a little home for them somewhere on a shelf uh, away from the light. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you enjoyed the cute little plants. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you maybe like to see another one, maybe we'll make some more goth plants next time. We'll try to make some, maybe we'll make some black plants. Cause you know what? I'd maybe like some of those in my life. So thank you for joining me and uh, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!